In mathematics, the cardinality of a set is a measure of the number of elements of the set. For example, the set a equals two four six. Display style a equals two four six contains three elements, and therefore a display style a has a cardinality of three. There are two approaches to cardinality, one which compares sets directly using bijections and injections, and another which uses cardinal numbers. The cardinality of a set is also called its size, when no confusion with other notions of size is possible. The cardinality of a set a display style a is usually denoted a display style a with a vertical bar on each side this is the same notation as absolute value and the meaning depends on context alternatively the cardinality of a set a display style a may be denoted by n a display style n a a display style a c a r d a display style card a or hash a Display style hashtag a topic comparing sets. While the cardinality of a finite set is just the number of its elements, extending the notion to infinite sets usually starts with defining the notion of comparison of arbitrary possibly infinite sets. <laughs> Definition 1, A equals, B Two sets A and B have the same cardinality if there exists a bijection from A to B, that is, a function from A to B that is both injective and surjective. Such sets are said to be equipotent, equipollent, or equinumerous. This relationship can also be denoted A approximately equals B or A tilde B. For example, the set E. Topic zero two four six of non-negative even numbers has the same cardinality as the set n zero one two three of natural numbers since the function f n equals two n as a bijection from n to e equals topic definition 2 a b equals a has cardinality less than or equal to the cardinality of b if there exists an injective function from a into b equals topic definition 3 a Topic: A has cardinality strictly less than the cardinality of B if there is an injective function, 
but no bijective function, from a to b for example, the set n of all natural numbers has cardinality strictly less than the cardinality of the set r of all real numbers, because the inclusion map i, n r is injective, but it can be shown that there does not exist a bijective function from n to r see Cantor's diagonal argument or Cantor's first uncountability proof, if, a, b, and, b, a, then a b schroeder bernstein theorem the axiom of choice is equivalent to the statement that a b or b a for every a b topic cardinal numbers above cardinality was defined functionally that is, the cardinality of a set was not defined as a specific object itself. However, such an object can be defined as follows. The relation of having the same cardinality is called equinumerosity, and this is an equivalence relation on the class of all sets. The equivalence class of a set A under this relation then consists of all those sets which have the same cardinality as A. There are two ways to define the cardinality of a set. The cardinality of a set A is defined as its equivalence class under equinumerosity. A representative set is designated for each equivalence class. The most common choice is the initial ordinal in that class. This is usually taken as the definition of cardinal number in axiomatic set theory. Assuming AC, the cardinalities of the infinite sets are denoted 0 1 2. Display style aleph underscore zero for each ordinal alpha. Display style alpha alpha plus one. Display style aleph underscore alpha plus one is the least cardinal number greater than alpha. Display style aleph underscore alpha. The cardinality of the natural numbers is denoted aleph null zero. Display style aleph underscore zero, while the cardinality of the real numbers is denoted by c. Display style mathfrak c, a lowercase fracture script c, and is also referred to as the cardinality of the continuum. Cantor showed using the diagonal argument that. C greater than zero. Display style math frac C greater than aleph underscore zero. We can show that C equals two zero. Display style math frac c equals two caret aleph underscore zero. This also being the cardinality of the set of all subsets of the natural numbers. The continuum hypothesis says that one equals two zero. Display style aleph underscore one equals two caret aleph underscore zero, i.e. two zero. Display style two caret aleph underscore zero is the smallest cardinal number bigger than zero. Display style aleph underscore zero i.e. there is no set whose cardinality is strictly between that of the integers and that of the real numbers. The continuum hypothesis is independent of ZFC, a standard axiomatization of set theory, that is, it is impossible to prove the continuum hypothesis or its negation from ZFC provided ZFC is consistent. 
See below for more details on the cardinality of the continuum. Topic finite, countable and uncountable sets If the axiom of choice holds, the law of trichotomy holds for cardinality. Thus we can make the following definitions, any set X with cardinality less than that of the natural numbers, or, X. Any set X that has the same cardinality as the set of the natural numbers, or, X. Topic N zero display style Aleph underscore zero is said to be a countably infinite set. Any set X with cardinality greater than that of the natural numbers, or X greater than N, for example, R equals C display style math frac c greater than n is said to be uncountable topic infinite sets our intuition gained from finite sets breaks down when dealing with infinite sets in the late 19th century Georg Cantor, Gottlob Frege, Richard Dedekind and others rejected the view that the whole cannot be the same size as the part. One example of this is Hilbert's paradox of the Grand Hotel. Indeed, Dedekind defined an infinite set as one that can be placed into a one-to-one -one correspondence with a strict subset that is, having the same size in Cantor's sense, this notion of infinity is called Dedekind infinite. Cantor introduced the cardinal numbers, and showed that according to his bijection-based definition of size some infinite sets are greater than others. The smallest infinite cardinality is that of the natural numbers. Zero. Display style Aleph underscore zero. Topic: Cardinality of the continuum. One of Cantor's most important results was that the cardinality of the continuum. C display style math frac C is greater than that of the natural numbers 0 display style alef underscore 0 that is there are more real numbers r than natural numbers n namely Cantor showed that C equals 2 Zero equals one. Display style math frac c equals two caret alef underscore zero equals beth underscore one. C beth one satisfies two zero greater than zero. Display style two carat Aleph underscore zero greater than Aleph underscore zero. See Cantor's diagonal argument or Cantor's first uncountability proof. The continuum hypothesis states that there is no cardinal number between the cardinality of the reals and the cardinality of the natural numbers, that is two zero equals 1 display style 2 caret alef underscore 0 equals alef underscore 1 However, this hypothesis can neither be proved nor disproved within the widely accepted ZFC axiomatic set theory if ZFC is consistent.
Cardinal arithmetic can be used to show not only that the number of points in a real number line is equal to the number of points in any segment of that line, but that this is equal to the number of points on a plane and, indeed, in any finite dimensional space. These results are highly counterintuitive, because they imply that there exist proper subsets and proper supersets of an infinite set S that have the same size as S, although S contains elements that do not belong to its subsets, and the supersets of S contain elements that are not included in it. The first of these results is apparent by considering, for instance, the tangent function, which provides a one-to-one -one correspondence between the interval minus pi, pi and r. See also Hilbert's paradox of the Grand Hotel. The second result was first demonstrated by Cantor in 1878, but it became more apparent in 1890, when Giuseppe Pino introduced the space-filling curves, curved lines that twist and turn enough to fill the whole of any square, or cube, or hypercube, or finite dimensional space. These curves are not a direct proof that a line has the same number of points as a finite dimensional space, but they can be used to obtain such a proof. Cantor also showed that sets with cardinality strictly greater than c exist see his generalized diagonal argument and theorem they include for instance the set of all subsets of r i e the power set of r written p r or 2r the set r r of all functions from r to r both have cardinality 2 c equals Two greater than c display style two caret math frac c equals beth underscore two greater than math frac c c beth two. The cardinal equalities c two equals c. Display style math frac c caret two equals math frac c c zero equals c display style math frac c caret aleph underscore zero equals math frac c and c c equals 2 c display style math frac c caret math frac c equals 2 caret math frac c can be demonstrated using cardinal arithmetic c 2 equals 2 0 2 equals 2 2 times 0 equals 2 0 equals c Display style math frac c carrot two equals left two carrot aleph underscore zero right carrot two equals two carrot two times aleph underscore zero equals two carrot aleph underscore zero equals math frac c c zero equals two Zero zero equals two zero times zero equals 
two zero equals C Display style Math frac C carrot Aleph underscore zero equals left two carrot Aleph underscore zero right carrot Aleph underscore zero equals two carrot Aleph underscore zero times Aleph underscore zero equals two carrot Aleph underscore zero equals Math frac C C C equals two zero C equals two C times zero equals two C Display style Math frac C carrot Math frac C equals left two carrot Aleph underscore zero right carrot Math frac C equals two carrot Math frac C times Aleph underscore zero equals two carrot Math frac C Topic Examples and properties. If x topic a, b, c, and y apples, oranges, peaches, then x equals y because a apples, b oranges, c peaches is a bijection between the sets x and y. The cardinality of each of x and y is three. If x, if x, y, and y, x, then x equals y. This holds even for infinite cardinals, and is known as Cantor Bernstein Schroeder theorem. Sets with cardinality of the continuum. <laughs> Union and intersection If A and B are disjoint sets, then O B equals O plus B. Display style left vert A cup B right vert equals left vert O right vert plus left vert B right vert from this, one can show that in general the cardinalities of unions and intersections are related by C D plus C D equals C plus D Display style left vert c cup d right vert plus left vert c cap d right vert equals left vert c right vert plus left vert d right vert. Topic. See also. Aleph number. Beth number. Countable set Counting Ordinality